Hi, Tamron. I'm Lauren. And I'm Lincoln. And, and we, we are, are the Austin, Austin Flipsters. Flipsters. We work in Austin, Texas, and we've been friends for the better part of two decades, ever since our college days. We're both happily married, but not to each other. Three years ago, we decided to join forces remodeling and making over and flipping houses for ourselves and for clients. It looks so good. There's something so special about saving something that was abandoned and about to be destroyed. OK, so this could be a potential problem. We have this pipe running through here. We wanted to open up this entire space. It brings us so much joy to see a home that was about to be thrown away, be given new life, and a family has a new place to live. Wow. Lauren and Lincoln are joining us now from Austin, Texas, my neck of the woods, as my friend Al Roker says, welcome to the show. Hi, thanks for having us. Absolutely. Hi, Congratulations on this, Lauren. I love um, concepts like this because it is so easy to destroy and remove rather than renovate and, and, and bring new life to something. Yeah, I mean, I think that's kind of the era that we live in is disposable, right? If you can't get it, you can buy it on Amazon the next day. Um, so I think it is really special to be able to take something that was original and just revitalize it and bring it back to life. Well, especially when, uh, Lincoln, you're finding a lot of these homes for a steal. You've done over 40 homes, um, 11 million people, 11 million views of the content that you create, but you got a place that was $5,000 and transformed it into something completely magical. Yeah, we couldn't pass up the opportunity to, to buy something for $5,000. It was set to be uh, demolished. And with the new zoning laws, you wouldn't be able to build anything new on that lot ever again. So we just, we couldn't pass up the opportunity to, to save that old house. Look at and... this house now. I mean, who wouldn't <laughs> want to live there? Thank you, yeah. What did you tackle first? I mean, because something like that, I would be wondering about the foundation, all of the things that come along with it. What did you have to tackle first? Yeah, absolutely. It was the foundation first and foremost. We had to raise it almost eight inches up off the ground, uh, put a new metal roof on it so that it would be protected from the elements, and then started working our way from the outside in, from the siding all the way into the kitchen and, and the interior. Lauren, how do you scout these homes? I mean, I know, again, Austin very well. I'm nostalgic about that style of home um, because that's what I grew up around. And, and it just brings out these emotions. But how do you scout these places out? Yeah, so we have a whole team that we work with in our office that literally it's like finding a needle in a haystack. They're making calls and finding properties that are either in distress or on the, you know, the teardown list. Um, and so we find our properties that way. Now, I know, uh, Lincoln, you've talked a lot about how people who so-called flip houses get a bad rap because it's the perception is you're coming in, you're flipping it in an area, and then you're making it way too expensive in some cases for the people who are originally from those communities. You look at it as a community investment to bring in and help other folks. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, these projects that we're, ta we're, that we're talking about are completely uninhabitable. And, and like you're saying, they're set to be torn down. So it's, it's not like somebody could just, you know, move in and, and sort of do DIY projects on these things. These are like heavy renovations wow. all the way, uh, you know, down to the foundation. So we're, we're giving the homes a second life and, you know, we're creating new places for, for people to live where they were uninhabitable before. I know we have a house that your first one that you renovated was sold to a single mom. Um, we have before and after pictures, I think, of the place. Um, that's the house before, after. How does it feel? We can show the kitchen, too. When you see a family go into this place again, that would have been level, just gone. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was actually the first house we ever did. And we got you know, the sweetest letter from, uh, from a single mom who, who bought the house from us saying how much she loved the home and wanted to see her daughter grow up in it. Oh. And it was like just life affirming. It was like, this is the right thing that, that we need to be doing. There she is playing in the house. <laughs> I love it too, because so many people talk about real estate prices. And when you look at Austin, it is an example of what's happening in middle sized cities around the country that have become hot. Austin's a hot place to live. The technology, we're all moving there. And what you could afford in the past is not available. Yeah, there were definitely seeing a huge influx of people from New York and California, especially as as people are working more virtually and they can, yeah. can work kind of wherever they want to live, they're choosing Austin. And so we are seeing the prices rise pretty rapidly here. Um, we're also seeing a lot of people from Austin move to more rural areas just outside of town for that exact same reason. Is, you know, they're working virtually and they're able to yeah. afford and, you know, purchase a much bigger property than they could here in town. Lauren, um, have you ever seen a house or come across a home where you thought, this is just too big of a job, we can't pull this one off? Or do you meet those challenges with, yes, we can, Lincoln, we're going to get this done? <laughs> well, I will say I'm a 
two of us, I feel like I am the optimist. Um, but I think I feel that way every time we tackle a new project. It's a little overwhelming in the beginning. Um, but, you know, surely day by day, month by month, we get it done and it ends up looking fabulous at the end. Well, Lincoln, you guys tackled a renovation project of a home for someone that is near and dear to you, your cameraman, Joey. Let's take a look. Okay, guys, we're about to film the first tour. Joey is in there setting up the camera. Do you not like this house? I love this house. This is kind of a cool house, for sure. It's a quick project. That makes sense to me, right? Yeah, I think, honestly, I think Joey is going to love this house. I think it is the perfect house for him. What? Yeah. Are you guys freaking kidding? No. Yeah. Dude, you got to be kidding me. Will you let us renovate it? Uh, totally. Yeah. Absolutely. I totally want it. Okay, are you taking applications? <laughs> <laughs> Lucky Joey. Yeah, Joey has been so excited. He's been looking for a house in Austin. And like you said, we're all the time looking for projects. And we found the perfect one that was just, you know, a perfect fit for, for him. And so, yeah, we thought we would, you know, surprise him and, and offer to renovate it for him. And, and luckily, he's, he said, yeah, he actually <laughs> likes the house. That we were kind of sweating there. We weren't sure he was going to go for it. It was kind of our, our master plan. But oh, luckily, no, he, he was going to go for it. That house was adorable from the beginning, so I can only imagine. Well, your latest house that you just finished, it was set to be demolished, and now it's worth $1.4 million? Yes. Yeah, we just finished this one this week. It took us almost a year. It had been abandoned for 10 years. It was infested with raccoons and oh. fleas and oh. all sorts of critters in there. And uh, we were excited uh, to give that one new life. Well, hopefully you convince the critters not to return because now they're like, okay, upgrade, we're back, we're, we're moving back in. They gone. They're gone. <laughs> Let me ask you, um, do you think it's just the eye that you have? What do you see that others don't in these projects that normally um, just obviously would be eyesores and dismissed? Yeah, so I think I personally am kind of a lover of possibilities. Um, and so I was driving my husband crazy because I was making us move each time I would see some new project, a new vision of what a home could be. Um, and so now, thankfully, I found this outlet <laughs> through work. Um, and so I just, I guess I just enjoy the process of thinking what could be here and envisioning that. Um, and I guess I kind of take it for granted that maybe not everybody sees things the way Well, that I, I love do. that because you're married to different people, your best friends, you're married to other folks. Do they understand Lincoln or get what you guys do and the magic of it all? Oh, yeah. She, she loves it. My wife, Marjorie, loves the show. She's, you know, super supportive of what we do. And, you know, she goes, she works in HR and deals with people problems. She leaves the, the thorny renovation messes to us. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, congratulations on the success of the show and people watching as you take us and remind us that there is value even in things that are not instantly beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so Thanks, much. Cameron. Of course.